Good evening and welcome to episode 6 of DKW Demolition. I'm your DKW General Manager, Matt Ball. First thing I want to say a big thank you to all the fans at home for your kind words, support and all your messages. And also for following us in the last six weeks of our journey as we enter a new era of weekly episodic shows right here on YouTube. Now onto the business of last week and I penned a main event which was a non-title singles match between Chris Hunter and the heavyweight Lewis Barrett who is your brand new DKW British Heavyweight Champion. But four other members of the roster decided to interfere towards the end of that match and it ended in a big brawl. Now, I can't speak for other previous management, but I have a code of conduct. I have rules and more importantly, I demand respect. So when I make the main event a singles match, I expect it to end as such. So if you guys really want to all be in the ring together, then you can do that tonight. Tonight's main event will be a six man tag team match, which would be the team of Reese Ryan, Chris Hunter, and the life coach Lucas Jackson, as they take on Andros J. Charlie Brooks and the heavyweight Lewis Barrett. My final piece of action in this message to you all is I've received a letter this morning from one Mark Hendry who has requested a match against Sam Dufresne. Since I want to be the gift that keeps on giving here in DKW and I want the fans to get exactly what they want, I hope you two boys are ready because that match is happening and it's happening right now. The following contest is scheduled for and for. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to DKW Demolition, I am Jazzy Josh and before we get started I would just like to give a special shout out to Darren Thorpe over at Wrestling Brand Warfare for all his help on our his graphics opponent, for DKW. Mark Hendry. Oh, and Sam Dufresne looking to get the jump on Hendry, but Hendry now lighting him up with strikes. Sam Dufresne thinking he can get the upper hand. Oh, and he does with the gut check, rolling Hendry into the ring. Alex Davenport doesn't know what to do here. Oh, and a suicide dive there from Mark Hendry. Getting back into the ring. Oh, and he's going for another one. Oh, but a suicide dive over the top rope this time. The match hasn't even started yet, and already the action is going out. Hendry rolling Sam into the ring, now rolling himself in. And this match is officially underway. While I've got the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jazzy Josh, and let me welcome to you the man that unified the Showcase and Cruiserweight Championships here at DKW. He is your general manager, Matt Ball. Oh, and the innovative offense there from Hendry. Thank you, Josh, and welcome to episode six, Demolition, as we see this action-packed match starting this episode. Hendry up to the second rope. Is Hendry going for here? Oh, it doesn't matter what he was going for. Sam Dufresne had other ideas catching him there. Oh, and a fall-away slam. Oh, uh, Hendry has a history of back issues. I think Sam the Frames will sort him out here. Putting the boots into him in the corner there. Oh, and just choking him. Just ignoring the rest count. 
Yeah, Alex Devonport needs to keep these guys under control, especially that Sam Dufresne. Now, Paul, this is one of the matches that you sanctioned for this week after the events that unfolded last week. I want a pinfall here. One, just a one count. But yeah, Paul, this being one of the matches that you sanctioned after the events of last week. So tell us more about what you think is going on with these two. So Mark Hendry's always been one to stand up for bullies. Obviously, he's one of the what we call the ring generals in a sense. He's the leader of the locker room. He's the captain. Um, he's been around for such a long time and he wants to stand up for the newer talent we have here in DKW. And what way to stand up to him for challenging Sam Dufresne to a match? Oh, 100%. Sam Dufresne being one of the biggest men that we have on the roster. Going for a pinfall after that leg drop with just a two count. But yeah, Dufresne being one of the biggest and strongest men on our roster here. There aren't many people that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but I think Henry really has a fighting chance. I agree. I, th I think if anyone can take down Sam Dufresne, it'd be Mark Hendry. I think he has a chance providing Sam doesn't take all of his wind out of him before the match. Oh, and a running shoulder into the gut there. Yeah, that, that must honestly feel like a train, a train hitting you. That must be so painful. The man of Sam Dufresne's size just coming straight at your gut. Oh, and that uppercut there. I think Hendry might be out here. Oh, well, if he was, he's definitely been woken up by this figure four shoulder lock. He's going to try and separate that shoulder. Hendry with the punches there to the chest. Can he get out of here? Elbows. Oh, and a big oh. lariat there from Sam Dufresne. I think he knocked his head off. I want a pinfall. Just the two count. Hendry looks like he's seeing stars here, Ball. I think so. And obviously, Sam Dufresne's livid for losing that fatal four-way match a couple of weeks ago against Lewis Barrett. He wants to oh, get back. and another shoulder there. He only gets it back to that title picture as soon as he can. What's he going for now? Oh, it doesn't matter what he's going for because Hendry reverses it. I want to kip up there. Oh, and an ends of Giri right to the back of the head. What a lovely move there from Mark Hendry. The yeah, back of the head, the weakest point of the skull. So any kicks that will knock you senseless. Yeah, he's giving himself some breathing room here. He needs to catch his breath and keep on top of Sam Dufresne before Sam Dufresne wakes up. Of course, he can't let Sam Dufresne get any more momentum than he already has. Otherwise, he may have lost this match straight away. Both men coming to their feet now. Oh, and just a stiff punch there to the head. Yeah, that must honestly feel like a brick in your head, these punches from Sam Dufresne. Oh, clean on the jaw, just knocking Hendry's lights out. Oh, but Hendry with a forearm to receipt. There's still what life in the old dog yet. Another clean one there to the jaw. Just this exchange of punches and elbows and forearms. Oh, Hendry looks like he's fired up here. Two yeah, in a row. This 37-year-old veteran's going for it. Off the ropes once again, maybe. Yeah, he does. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Oh, and a back elbow there. Dropping Sam Dufresne. Not many people can put Sam Dufresne on his back, but Hendry being one of them. And when you get this big man down... You need to capitalise. Once the big man's down... Oh, what's Hendry going for here? Oh, a springboard knee there. If anything, will drop Sam. That will. Always the innovator is Mark Hendry. Going for the pin there. One, two. Oh, I'm very nearly three. Hendry almost taking this match. Yeah, and imagine what this does to Mark Hendry's career as well as we enter a new era of DKW. He gets his winner, Sam Dufresne. He could get his opportunity against Lewis Barrett. Possibly. Oh, and a pop-up power bomb there from Sam Dufresne. And a pin one, two, three.
So there you have it, folks. Sam Dufresne picking up the win in the first match of the night against Mark Hendry. So another dominant win there for Sam Dufresne as he is perhaps looking onwards at a future DKW British title opportunity. But hang on, we need to go backstage as I've heard that someone in particular isn't too happy about seeing Sam Dufresne's win here tonight. No, no, no. Has he been challenged? No, no, no. Let me go after him, man. Charlie, what? We've got a match. We can talk this out. Yeah, Sam ain't in that match. I need Sam. You think I can live a violation of that side? You're getting out of a chance. I don't care about them chance. I need him now. He's literally just admitted to me. I, I, I can't let you away with that. I know, it's man. It's meant to be your arch nemesis. You're just going to let him slide. Dude, in good time. I can't trust me. In good time, man. Like, trust me. Focus on what's at hand. After this match, I ain't listening to you to get off guard and off the sun. I don't care if I ain't got you two back at me. That's yours. fine. That's fine. Yeah. But let's look business first. Right. Payday first. What you say? Right. Right? Charlie Brooks clearly upset and wanting answers about who attacked his tag team partner Harry McDonald and seems keen to get his hands on Dufresne. Well, we'll have the hope that he can concentrate on the six-man tag main event tonight, but switching gears now as it's time for your Throwback Thursday match. This time it's from 2019 Gold Rush Tournament as former Showcase and Chaos Champion Rowan Blake takes on the forever demented one, Damien. Tournament. You have to question whether Rohan Blake's head is going to be in the game, especially after what happened before this match. Is Rohan Blake going to be able to focus on Damien? Knowing that a new opponent is waiting in the wings for him. Okay, we are underway in the final first round match in the Gold Rush Tournament. Fans firmly behind Rowan Blake. Column and elbow tight to start this one and great strength from Damien. Fresh out of the gates, he knows his own name. That's a good start. Great strength on show from Damien. Straight out of the gates here. Rowan goes straight back into that tie-up and once again shoved down by Damien. Damien is an incredibly intimidating figure. He's big, he looks strong, the face paint. That deep, scary voice as well. Damien could be a force to be reckoned with in this tournament. Uh-oh. Damien letting the crowd get into his head. I think he, uh, he needs to focus more on his opponent. Rohan Blake is very, very dangerous. Damien could be as intimidating as he wants, but Rohan Blake is an incredibly skilled athlete. Oh, breaking huge chops, double chops to the chest of Damien, who then exits the ring in an unorthodox fashion. Oh, double drop kick through the ropes. Rohan Blake using that speed to his advantage. Oh, Damien looking to catch Rohan Blake there, but the tope over the ropes took Damien down. Now, while he's got him grounded. Rowan Blake trying to range strikes down and there's another huge chop. Uh, 
In my opinion, this is what Rowan Blake needs to do. He needs to stay on Damien. He needs to not let Damien just even get an inch in this contest. And they are fighting in the crowd here. The referee does have to administer a count of 10, although he doesn't really seem to be doing that at the minute. Damien now seemingly back in control. You can hear them strikes. Rohan Blake now trying to get a foothold back in this match. And Damien, oh, chops Rowan Blake. They are still brawling on the outside of the ring. The referee trying to urge them back inside the ring so this match can continue properly. And now the ref starts counting. But Rowan Blake is now back in the ring. And here comes Damien. Snapmare takeover by Damien. You saw the power he did that with. Just flung Rohan Blake like he was nothing. And there's a knee drop across the throat of Rowan Blake. Big scoop and a slam. And a leg drop. Damien making quite the impression here tonight. <laughs> Irish whip. On oh, the avalanche in the corner from Damien. Oh, but now Rowan Blake follows up with a big time clothesline in the corner. And now Rowan Blake trying to build up ahead of steam. Uh oh. Oh, but now. Damien responds with one of his own. And now Rohan Blake hits another clothesline. Great action here in the final first round match in the Gold Rush Tournament and a big boot to the face of Rohan Blake, who is now seemingly out on his feet and a big boot. Down goes Blake. Slightly nonchalant cover. Look at this now, Damien has just got the face. And that was it. I think he's got the ear of Rowan Blake. Slaps to the back with both hands. Irish whip once again. Oh, backbreaker by Damien. And now he's stretching. Rowan Blake over the knee. Rowan Blake, whose offense is very sort of quick, it's very aerial based. If Damien can keep him grounded, keep him off a vertical base, he's going to win this match. Fans trying to get behind Rowan. Another uppercut, and down goes Blake. Damien in firm control, very confident. Wants to be the, the people's hero here at DKW. I'm not sure he's winning too many fans here today. Blake ducks under the lariat, and another one. Oh, and there it is, that aerial assault that I was talking about with a head scissor takedown. Can Rowan Blake now get himself back into this match? Knee to the face of Damien. Off the ropes now, and another knee to the face. Down goes Damien. Rowan Blake needs to capitalise on this offence. Maybe get himself a cover. I think Rohan Blake maybe wants to finish this though, so he's headed up top. Oh, no. Second thoughts. Double axe handle to the head. And another one. What's this now? Trying to wrestle the larger Damien to the ground and there's a kick to the chest and the double slaps to the back once again and just like that this match is once again turned on its head Damien into the cover again two kick out at two another very arrogant cover from Damien just one foot across the chest wow look at this now 
Damien is so much animalistic. Oh, but now he goes shoulder first into the ring post. Can Blake capitalise on this as he heads up top? Blockbuster! Brilliant! One, two, kick out at two by Damien. Incredible agility on show from Rowan Blake with that blockbuster from the top turnbuckle. Incredible. Rowan Blake headed up top once again. Uh oh. Damien's got him up in that fireman's carry. Oh, Rowan Blake escapes. Uh oh. What's this now? Oh no. Damien looking for a choke slam, maybe. Rowan Blake escapes. Step up into Gurry to the back of the head. Both men are down. Great action here in the final first round match of the Gold Rush Tournament. Oh, off the ropes. Ducks underneath the clothesline. And again. Caught though, mid air. Uh oh, he's got him in that fireman's carry again. Oh, into the roll up. One, two, three, it's over. Rowan Blake, victorious. But now Damien, maybe trying to attack after the match. Rowan Blake is victorious off the roll up. Rowan Blake advances to the semi finals of the Gold Rush tournament. Mr. Sassy Bear Clarence, the life coach Lucas Jackson here. I think you know that already. Um, however, I think as you failed to be able to get even get booked on the show, I think you could deal with having a membership to the life coach program. The price, as always, is just fourteen ninety five. And what I'll do for you today, good sir, is I'll reduce that price to twelve ninety five per month. Because you clearly are someone who could deal with it. I mean, Chris. I've gotten him to the main event of Demolition in just one week. Imagine what I could do with you. You made a bit more than one week, but I think you got this. So how about you join the Life Coaches Programme? Just £12.95 a month. For £12.95 a month? Yeah. Bargain deal just for you, Sassy Bear. You know, Lucas Jackson, I appreciate the generosity. However, I think I'm quite fine without the programme, thanks. Have a good day, my lovelies. You'll pay for that! You'll pay for that! Tell you what, I've got... I've got, I've got oh. Never get a deal like that again. And now guys, it's time for your main event. Woo! Of the VIP, Reese Ryan, Chris Hunter, and the life coach, Lucas Jackson.
professor here from Primark, honestly, it's <laughs> an absolute disgrace. Get out of the ring. Come on, get out. Please don't get out of the ring. Guys, do you mean Walmart? What? <laughs> So your main event for tonight, the team of Reese Ryan, Chris Hunter and the life coach Lucas Jackson taking on the team of Andros J, Charlie Brooks and your DKW champion, Lewis Barrett. And for this match, once again, I'm joined by your GM, Matt Ball and Champagne Charlie. Good to be back. What a matchup this is going to be. <laughs> yeah, well, we look forward to it and it'll be an interesting match, obviously. This is how last week's episode ended with these six men in the ring. Um, now, you know, they want to have a fight together. Like I said, you know, now they can have their match. So let's see how it goes. Who do you guys think is going to win? It's, that's, it's a tough one to call, really. But my, me, personally, I'm just looking forward to seeing all sorts of hell breaking loose. Oh, leapfrog there. And another knee. Obviously, Steve, this Steve. is the match we had last week between Andros J and Reese Ryan in his debut. So, to see these guys going at it again, you've got to think maybe there's an advantage here to be held by Andros J. Bulldog! Just two count there. So far, Andros J taking the lead. There's, oh, Lewis Barrett tags himself in. Oh, and the elbow to the arm there by Lewis Barrett. Great idea. Pick, pick and isolate a body, body part off the ropes. Oh. I think Reese Ryan was sent all the way back to the States with that. <laughs> Quite possibly. Reese Ryan just trying to play mind games here. Barrett with just that whiplash effect pulling Ryan into the ring. One way to do it, that's for sure. There you have it again with the heavyweight cam. Oof! Head first into the turnbuckle. As we all know, those turnbuckles are very lightly padded, not enough to stop your face making contact with the steel behind it. Once again, it will scramble your brains when you go head first. Oh, in quite a precarious position here. Oh, and that pump kicks straight to the ribs of Reese Ryan. That's got to drive the wind out of him. First he scrambled the brains, then he scrambled the guts. In comes Chris Hunter and walks right into a... Scoop slam there. Oh. Tagging in Charlie Brooks. Here we go. Charlie and Brooks with that jab elbow there to the jaw. And now lighting him kicks. up. Dropping into a knee, going for the kick. Oh, and instead it swaps it for an insecurity. What, was he raised by ninjas? I mean, look at those kicks then. A two count there. Yeah, Charlie Brooks is no stranger to a tag team match, guys. So. Oh, hold on. The oh, chops right to the throat. To the throat. Chris Hunter now taking charge. Just drilling Charlie Brooks with those elbows. And now, you know, stomping him in the corner. Trying to push him through the ropes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, look oh, at this. Oh, look at this the in interference the corner. from the life coach. Just everyone getting involved in the match now. You have to admit, though, even though it's against the rules, that is quite a smart there. You distract the ref so you can get some cheap shots in and wear him down. Absolutely heinous baby here. But as I was saying, you know, Charlie Brooks is no stranger to tag team action, obviously being one half of the Brotherhood, but. So was Chris Hunter. He was uh, one half of the management. He's a former tag team champion here in DKW. So it'd be interesting to see which way this match goes. So we can expect both Charlie Brooks and Chris Hunter to sort of flourish in these types of matches. Just a one, was that just a one count, I think? It was just a one count. Chris Hunter, obviously the last tag team champion we ever had. You... You, you know for a fact, though, Chris Hunter longs to hold gold again someday. When that will be, I don't know. Oh, look at this now. He's put... Oh, and that elbow to the back of the head. I said this earlier on tonight. Oh, hang on, a pin, a pin here. Charlie Brooks getting the shoulder up before the count. 
But as I said earlier, the back of the head being the weakest part of the skull. So any strikes are going to knock you silly. And there's a tag. Now, Bull, we mentioned the um, tag belts earlier. They're the only belts that Lewis Barrett hasn't held. The last thing he needs to win to become Grand Slam champion. Will that happen during his tenure here in DKW Demolition? Oh. I think that's something to look at for the future. But at the moment, Barrett is where he's the top of the tree. He's the king of the mountain. He's a DKW British heavyweight champion. Right into oh. the ropes there. Oh, the pinfall Cover. here. Two count. Two count there. Here we go, and... Oh, and the Ric Flair style leg <laughs> drop there. <laughs> oh, and a pin again. Oh, and a two count. Damage is really being done to Charlie Brooks right now. And, oh, headbutt. A clean headbutt. Taking Charlie to the mat. Tags in the VIP. Oh, with just a slap oh. to show disrespect there. I have to say, I don't like the guy's attitude, but this Reese Ryan is impressive, that's for sure. Off the ropes. Oh, with a strut of his own. Oh, and a leg drop. Even though Reese Ryan's never teamed with a life coach or Chris Hunter before, they seem to be getting on quite well as a team. They do indeed. Reese Ryan, a former champion in his own right. The question is, though, is the opposing team, is Team Heavyweight, going to gel as well as these guys are? So far, though, it doesn't seem to be going that so well for the for Team Heavyweight. Oh. oh, double clothesline. Going for the same thing there. This is the opportunity that Charlie Brooks needs to tag someone in. Can he get to them? Looks like the heavyweight's firing up. Let's see who gets the tag first. Can Charlie Brooks get to the heavyweight? You can see, you can see Lewis Barrett dying to get in. And oh, he tags Andros J. Lucas Jackson and Andros J both get tagged in. It's in back Andros J has got the better of him here. On oh, that pump kick right to the sternum. With a pinball. Two count. Oh, he's calling for it, and in comes Lewis Barrett. It's heavyweight time. The heavyweight Lewis Barrett fired up before he's even got in the oh, ring. Oh. oh, oh, raking the eyes there, Lewis. Right Jackson. for the eyes. Oh, he's got his thumbs right in the eyes there. Simple act of desperation. Covers it up with a headbutt. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. What the? Davenport didn't see the tag. Charlie Brooks is Does gone. It, Where's he so, gone? He didn't see. The referee didn't see the tag. Sam Dufresne. That's Sam Dufresne's out here, guys. What the? Lucas it Jackson is. with the life changer off the uh, off the Base distraction first. from Sam Dufresne. Two, three, and he got him. So, your winners of the match after a distraction from Sam Dufresne, the life coach, Lucas Jackson, the VIP, Reese Ryan, oh, and look Chris at this Hunter. Now. Hang look on, post-match attack now. Come on. The match is over. The match is over. This, this shouldn't be happening. You got the win. Get away from him. Come on. Lucas Jackson now calling for a mic. I want to know what stipulation I'm going to choose next week. He's he's going under the ring here, Ball. Destroy the hobby weight. The hobby weight. We're gonna destroy the hobbit weight. Come on, Lewis. Get him because he's small. Well, there you have it, folks. Next week, our main event will be Lucas Jackson versus Lewis Barrett for the heavyweight title in a chairs match. For one of these two men, the pain is coming. 
So there you have it for another episode of DKW Demolition. Next week we see Pris Hunter taking on Sassy Bear Clarence. And Sam Dufresne will be in action. We will see you next week on DKW Demolition.